Hey, welcome everyone. Let's say you want to use Copilot agents in order to streamline your business and to get you know rid of some of these redundant, repetitive tasks that happen. Maybe you are somebody who does, uh, let's say, quotes or proposals for jobs. And let's just say you wanted to have a, a file like, let's go to our um, proposal template here. Very basic proposal template. All we want is, uh, you can make this, you know, fancy, of course. But what we've got here is um, some placeholders. We've got a contact name here. We've got uh, the job carried out is, well, we've got an amount here, of course, which is there. And then we've got the job name here. And to do this, you need to go onto the developer tab. So I will show you that in Word if I open it up. The developer tab is quite cool for Word. You can place these, uh, what they call controls in there. And then they you're able to, uh, do stuff with it. So if I click on that and I go to developer tab and I click on properties, you'll see that I've, I've created this con content control and I've called it that and I've called uh, the amount, some, the job amount, and then I've called the job name that and I just added them in. You, the, the, it's easy to do. All you do is like you'll click on this button up here and you'll add in some, you know, whatever here. And then this can be filled out. It can have properties and you can tag it like what or whatever you want to do and then that will be you can fill that out dynamically so that's the idea of, uh, behind that so get yourself the developer mode on there make yourself some temp uh, placeholders or variables or parameters or whatever you want to call it inside of your your proposal or your quote document um, so that's you can maybe look at some other videos of how to do that but i think i've explained it. it's really actually quite simple go to your developer tab click on these little buttons here and put that in so if you just rewatch that again, it's very simple. Okay, so now we're gonna use those tags uh, in a minute. So we're gonna close this, and this is on the um, OneDrive. So I just copied into my OneDrive location here, and what we're gonna do ultimately is talk to this agent, and this agent's gonna do something for us, okay? So we're gonna we're gonna have an agent that's very simple. It's got a topic, and the topic's gonna to fire off a flow. But just to show you how it works quickly, um, we're going to just have a starter prompt and we'll just say, I, I did a starter prompt just to say go, uh, just to make it more simple. And then it's going to ask a question. It's going to say, um, who's, the, who's the contact name? So we'll say, all right, it's uh, Asher or something. And then let's say, what's the job? And the job will be um, uh, put, put polls in or something. And then it'll ask what the amount is. This has got to be a number. So if you put a, a letters in here, it'll probably uh, break. So we'll say 79 pounds and then it'll say done. All right. And what that's done in the background is it's created uh, in the background. You'll see that, uh, where is it? Uh, oh, it might've failed, but we'll see. So you can see it creates a PDF and then ultimately it creates um, a draft email with that in. Oh, there it is. It's already there. So put polls in. Um, hi, Asher. Thanks for the inquiry. Here's your PDF attached. So there it is. Um, ignore the editing for now. It's a little bug that I've got to try and get rid of. But that's basically what it's going to do. So it's going to create a PDF based on your proposal template. And then it's going to create a draft email, which then obviously before it sends it off, you're going to check that email, make sure everything's good. It's going to have the PDF attached to it, uh, which you can see if you just click on that. I uh, can't open the file, but if you actually look in your OneDrive, you will see what it looks like. So here it is here. Let's click on that and then you can see that it's filled it out hi asher thanks for your interest in our services to carry out put polls in obviously it doesn't make a lot of grammatical sense but then the proposed amount to carry this work out is 79 pounds so simple as that so it works quickly and it works very effectively so to do that for you so probably save you a good few clicks um to creating uh you know the new word document making it into a pdf and drafting up an email so let's see how that's done so the first thing you've got to do is to create yourself a flow inside of Copilot Studio and you click on new agent flow. And then it'll, uh, once you get a new agent flow, just forget about all the Copilot trying to help you make it. All you say is, you know, go skip to configure or, you know, go, to the, go straight to the designer. And the designer is this canvas. So once you get onto your flow, what you want to do is start off with when an agent calls the flow, right? So the very first thing it's going to ask you is, uh, what what does the flow start with? And we want the agent to call this flow. When the agent has called the flow, we want to just put in some parameters. So this these are parameters that we're going to fill out in a second. 
or use in a second, right? So when we talk to the agent, it's gonna ask us about a, what's the job name, what's the contact name, and what's the amount. And then we're gonna fill in these three parameters. So uh, the agent asks us, we put the information in, now the agent has that and it, and it triggers off this flow. Then we're gonna use that. Inside of our Word document, which I showed you, we had those three things that were those control properties. Remember I showed you in the developer tab. And those control properties will automatically come up. So when you click on, you know, uh, populate a, a, a Microsoft Word template, which is quite easy to find. So if you click on the little plus button, let's say you only had one step in there. Uh, Word template maybe is a good way to just look for that. And you just scroll down to about, you see Microsoft or Office 365 or something. Uh, it's always a little bit tricky to find. There it is. Uh, Word online, populate a Word document uh, or word template and then once you click on that it's going to ask you where is it um, and you're going to say you know OneDrive for business or SharePoint or wherever so we, I've got the Contoso company here but I'm going to go OneDrive for business and it's on my OneDrive and then uh, it's actually in my root so if you see if I go back to my files uh, it's there it's on it's in the root so going back to our designer so that we 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 told the flow where it is um, and then it'll automatically show you the, the parameters that are available in that word document and those parameters are those control properties that we put in earlier into our word document job name contact name and the job amount and then we're going to fill that in dynamically using this button here and this is you, you'll see that this is the the name of the previous action which is this one here where I'm hovering my mouse and that previous action has these three parameters uh, and we're going to say all right where you see job name, put in the job name. Where you see contact name, put in the contact name. Where you see job amount, <clears throat> put in the fee. Okay, so as simple as that. Now it's filled out that Word document. And once we've done that, we want to create a, a new Word document with those values in, in them. <clears throat> and so we can call this whatever we want. We can put it into a different folder, which you can see I've done. And we can give it a name, um, sort of give it a unique name, for example, uh, Depends how you want to do it, but I've just I replaced all the, trimmed out all the text from the job name, and then I've created a Word document. And here, the dynamic content would be from the previous step, which is to populate the Word document. And we want to click on this one here with a, where I'm highlighting with my finger, my green finger, and put that in there. So that's creating the Word document again. And then we want to convert that Word document to a PDF. And here, you're going to use ID. Now, the ID comes from the previous step again. So if I clicked on dynamic content there, the ID comes from the create word file. So that's the one where we, you know, we actually put that dynamic content in and then we created the file. So we're gonna use the ID from that one to create the PDF. So that's all we need. ID, we don't need to say where that file is and in the OneDrive, we, we're actually gonna use the previous steps output, which is going to be the feeder for this one here. And then we're gonna make our target type PDF. Once that's done, we have to create the PDF inside the actual OneDrive, and you can see I've got my folder path as that. We'll use uh, this previous step, which is the convert to PDF, uh, and in that step is, you can see if I hover over it, convert to PDF has got the file name and the file content in it, and that's what, and we'll give it a, a, a extension PDF there as well. So we've created the final PDF, we've, get, we've put it into a different folder there, and then lastly, we want to create a draft email uh, you can put whatever here as like a placeholder and then we'll say what's the subject what's the job name uh, hi whoever what the contact is and then uh, we'll attach so you can you see your attachments come up in this uh, box here so from these advanced parameters I clicked on attachment and attachments comes up here and then you just give the attachment um, I think before this you, you'll work it out so the content is basically the ID of the of the step before so this step here create final PDF, you want the content to be the ID and, and it'll attach that to the email. So let's see how this all works together. Go back to the agent. And uh, so continue without saving because we didn't do anything there. And then let's go back into our agent here. Uh, and creating an agent is really simple as well. So um, if I just go back to this, I didn't show you how to do that. But I, I will just go new agent, uh, skip to configure and then just give it a name, some kind of description, in, and uh, the instructions are just very basic. I could, I'll show you what my description instructions are in a minute, and then a startup prompt if you want to, and then just click on Create. 
So let's go back to where we were. Um, for me, the, in this sh very simple demo, it's not really important to put all that information. You can see my instructions are like, gather job name, contact name, and proposed fee. And the description is get info to fill values in a Power Automate flow. So this flow is very much the same as a Power Automate flow. The thing that makes this whole thing work is the topics. So the only thing that you really want in your agent is topics. We don't need a knowledge base. We don't need actions or activities. We just need a topic here. So you click on add a topic. Um, I just did from blank. And then the topic's going to say, all right, what do you want to do? So our topic, we want it to be triggered by the agent. So when we say to the agent, hello, agent, can you gather some information about my job? Then it's going to say, oh, yes, sure, I can do that. What is the contact name is the first question. And then it's going to go, what is the job name? And then it is, what is the proposed amount? Just three questions that we want the agent to ask us. We're going to fill that out. Uh, we're going to basically respond to the, ag to the agent. Then the agent's going to call that uh, flow that we just made, right? So the flow I just showed you that we made, it's going to call that flow. And we're going to input all that stuff from the agent into the flow. So with the job name, uh, you can see up here was, you know, I gave it like a variable name. It doesn't matter what variable name you give it. And then you're going to you'll see down here like variable agent contact name and you'll see down the bottom uh, the actual flow is expecting those three variables and you're going to fill them out by just um, putting the these variables from the agent okay i hope that makes sense so let's test this so if we go back to our overview here and we'll say all right let's test the agent and we'll say go Uh, we'll say uh, uh, Lindy or Linda or something like that. Um, we'll say take out the uh, walls and create new walls. I don't know, whatever. Okay. And then that is the next thing is going to be what's the amount? 1000. And you can see that it's fired off that topic and it's in progress. Um, Sometimes it does this. <laughs> if you've changed the flow by any um, uh, any means, it's going to um, it's going to want you to re-authenticate, right? So you can just manage and then submit. It'll look at the connections that you have, connections to Office 365, Word Online, and OneDrive for Business. We'll just click on submit. It should work, really. Um, let's just click on retry here. Oh, it's not very happy, is it? Well, this was working just a second ago. Uh, for some reason, it's not happy. Let's try again. We're just going to refresh that. Work on garden. Let's see if it works. Oh, yep, there's done. Okay, for some reason, there was a bit of a glitch. Um, so then uh, if you look, go back to your flows, you'll see that it'll give you some information about what was just run. And you'll see that, uh, here you go, June the 4th, 15 seconds ago, it ran and succeeded. So we do expect now that there'll be a new, here you go, work on garden. Hi, Joe, thanks for inquiry. And it's attached. So that's pretty cool. Let's go look in our OneDrive to see that PDF. Uh, work on garden here it is and it's going to say uh, hi Joe thanks for your interest in services to carry out work on your garden the proposed amount is a hundred pounds done easy as that so that's pretty simple um, and then you can obviously look at your email there send it off to Joe and happy days maybe that'll save you uh, you know a good few minutes every day um, or 10 minutes every day I mean that all adds up over time doesn't it and once that flow is going, you can you can make it more elaborate and do uh, other things with it. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you need help with any of this, please comment and subscribe. And let me know if I can help you as well. I am, uh, you can reach out to me for some of the services I can help you with. Thanks for watching.